In this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, enable your screen magnifier or your entire enhanced magnifier, enhanced zoom. Now, if you're looking at this on YouTube, I will put a link below that has the steps for installing the magnifier or like a magnifying glass, as you can see here. Uh, there's two features that we're going to be talking about. It's the magnifier and the enhanced zoom. The magnifier, like I said, displays a magnifying view of a small window that looks like a magnifying glass that moves around and follows your uh, cursor or your mouse pointer on the screen. Your other is the enhanced zoom, which is a magnified view that fills the entire screen. To start with, uh, if you're on Ubuntu Mate 16.4 or later, and I have Ubuntu Mate 18.04.2, the long-term support, I already have Compiz installed and I already have the plugins installed. The only thing I don't have installed is the Compiz Config Settings Manager. So when I go to the Control Center and I look down uh, in here, I don't have the Config Control uh, to be able to... Uh, install anything from Compiz. So this is what I'm going to show you how to do. Now if you're looking at this on YouTube and you don't have Ubuntu Mate and you don't have Compiz installed, uh, you can follow these procedures and even if you have Ubuntu Mate, if you select this and try to install something that's already installed, it will let you know that it's currently installed. So the thing you want to do is to open up your terminal or to bring up your terminal and you can just copy and paste. So you just copy where it says sudo app get install Compiz. But like I said, uh, Ubuntu Mate comes pre-installed with the Compiz. So I'm going to press the enter key. I put my password. When I press the enter return key, it's going to look and it says Compiz is already the, new, the newest version. So it's not going to update anything or it's not going to install anything. But if you don't have it on your system, it would go through and download and install it on your system. The next thing is it's going to install the Compiz Config Settings Manager and add this to your control center, like the control panel in Windows, if you're coming from the Windows environment. So copy, paste that into your terminal, press the Enter or Return key, and it's going to start going through and downloading the information. And it's going to ask you after this operation, uh, 4,828 kilobytes of additional space will be required. Do you want to continue? You press yes or Y. Press the enter key or the return key. And it's going to go through and download and install it. And while it's doing that, I'm going to copy this one here. But just like the one above where I tried to install Compiz, it's going to tell me that it's already installed. But if you don't have it installed, it will install it for you. Because these are the three things that you're going to need. Compiz, the con uh, Compiz Config Settings Manager, and the Compiz Plugins. All right, now we're at the prompt. I put it in here. I press the Enter key. And it says Compiz Plugins is already the newest version. So I, I didn't have to install that. So if you're using Ubuntu Mate, this is really the only line you need to put in there. But it wouldn't hurt to test it. Now the pictures you see here is the step-by-step -step illustrations for installing it. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to enable Compiz. So uh, for those of you that are on Ubuntu Mate, you click the System. You go to Preferences. You go down to your Look and Feel and you click onto the Mate Tweak tool. Now I'm going to minimize my browser for a moment and, and I'm going to minimize my terminal uh, so that way you're not looking at double images. On the left hand side you see desktop panel and windows. Click on the windows icon and at the, at the bottom I have my windows manager selected as Marco Adaptive Compositor. Now in the past when I tried to run Compiz I got a lot of screen tearing but after the newest kernel uh, I tried on my other systems, I didn't get screen tearing with Compiz. Uh, if I do get screen tearing, I can go back to my Marco Adaptive Compositor, but I won't be able to use the magnifier. So uh, if you're experiencing some screen tearing after you uh, activate Compiz, see it says your Windows Manager has been replaced, and it's going to look kind of crazy on your screen for a moment, and then it reloads your new Windows Manager. So I've just changed the Windows Manager from the Marco adaptive to now Compiz. It's now my uh, it's now my Windows Manager. Now I can open it here but you don't always have to go to the tweak tool to open this. So I'm going to hit close. Now you can go to S System, the Control Center and when it uh, pops up your Control Center, scroll down till you get to the look and feel. You've now installed the Compiz Config Settings Manager. When you click onto this icon, it'll take a moment or two to load 
and it's going to prompt you with a little first time warning and it will do this every time until you uncheck this it says CCSM which is your com, uh, PIS config systems manager is an advanced tool use this with caution and my web page is really designed for beginners so this is not really a beginners tool but if you follow my instruction even if you're a beginner it shouldn't hurt your system now but this warning does tell you it can make your desktop unusable so don't just randomly go through here uh, within the compass config settings manager and make changes unless you know what you're doing and I recommend don't just go by any website and copy and paste and uh, make changes to what's on their s website unless you see a YouTube video that it works and you've seen other people comment that it actually works now if you don't want to show that every time uncheck that box and hit OK now before I get into the enhanced zoom desktop and the magnifier I want to go into my composite uh, section of my compass config settings manager under the generals group I click on composite and where it says unredirect full screen windows some computers can handle this uh, my systems can't if I leave that check I get a lot of screen flickering so I have to uncheck that and then I hit the back button not everyone has to do this if you don't want to uncheck that leave it on there and if you get screen flickering go back to your composite and then uncheck where it says un redirect full screen windows now the next thing I want to do is I want to make sure I have enhanced zoom desktop selected and the magnifier so I'm going to go ahead and select the magnifier it says some bi uh, bindings of the plug-in magnifier conflicts with other plugins do you want to resolve these conflicts you can hit resolve and it says uh, the new value of the key bindings for this initiate in the plug-in magnifier conflicts with the toggle screen negative of the negative plug-in do you wish to disable the toggle screen negative in the negative plug-in and I'm going to say disable the toggle screen negative alright now it should have fixed the the errors that was conflicting I want to first go into my magnifier and make this uh, some changes to the settings so let me click the icon make sure your bindings tab is the active tab and for this particular setting they're already preset you can click on them to change them you can click here make sure they're enabled and you can change the settings by clicking the button and click this right here where you grab the combination and once you press on your keyboard it will record it and then you can hit OK but I'm gonna leave these settings because if you try to choose a shortcut key combination that's already assigned to something else it could create a conflict with your system and cause your system to break but look here super M what the super key is if you look down at your keyboard on the left hand side you have a circle and your Windows icon if you're using a desktop or a laptop that has the Windows keyboard you got the Windows key that's your super key it's to the left of the left alternate button to the left of your spacebar so when you press the super key and the letter M it will bring up your magnifier now to zoom in when you once you got your magnifier zoomed uh, up on your screen you can zoom in by pressing shift super and button 4 now button 4 this is a, uh, a lot of people when they uh, watching YouTube videos I see down below when person don't describe what button 4 and button 5 is button 4 and button 5 is that center button on your mouse button 4 is scrolling that center wheel button in the upward direction when it represents button 5 that means you're scrolling that button downward so it's wheel down button 4 is wheel up so if I go shift super wheel up on the middle button of your mouse that's gonna zoom in if I go shift super button 5 which is wheel down it will zoom out but let me press the super M and to bring up the magnifier on the screen so I'm gonna hold down the super button and press the letter M alright as you can see I now have the magnifier on my screen and when I hover over something you can see that it actually amplifies it so it follows my mouse around on the screen now clicking on it doesn't make it go away the way that you make it go away is these are toggles which means if I press and hold down the super key again and press M it will toggle off like a light switch on your wall where you switch it on and the same light switch you switch it off so if I hold down the super key and press N it will disappear so super 
key M made it disappear. Now I'm not gonna zoom in and zoom out there. If that's just holding down the shift, the super, and it zooms in by scrolling up and scrolling back. It's almost like I'm holding my magnifying glass and getting closer and backing up. The zoom on it was great for what I'm uh, illustrating here, but that's how you do this. I'll hit the back button. The next thing I want to do is to set my enhanced zoom desktop. As you saw earlier, when I clicked on that, it automatically set it. This one was already pre checked when I installed the Compiz Config Setting Manager. So when I click here, it's going to come up, and as you can see here, they're already uh, set for Super Button 4. Now, your zoom in key is disabled. You can enable that. That means, that, like, if you're not using a mouse, if you're using a laptop, maybe have your scroll bar or your little uh, tap thing in the center where you're controlling it with your finger you can actually use your keys to control your zooms you can pick like super key and the up arrow to zoom in or you can use the super key the down arrow to zoom out but right now they're disabled and I'll show you how you can set these you click on where it says disabled you enable it and now you're going to use the super key so I activate the super key and then I'm going to click grab key combination that means when I hold down the super key and press the down button it will in this case it's zoom in so I want to uh, click the up button so I'm going to click grab key combination and then I'm going to hit super key up error and watch what it does so when I press super key and the up error button on my keyboard it now assigned that to super up so I hit OK and super up has now been assigned to the zoom in key as you can see it's already predefined a super key button 4 which means you're pressing and holding down the the windows key and then scrolling up on your mouse button in the center and it starts zooming in uh, and holding the super button where it says zoom out with the mouse holding the super button or the super key the windows key and scrolling down will zoom out now invoking the zoom box I'm gonna disable that one and the reason why is on my other computers when I try to do this one super and button 2 means to press your mouse center mouse button from the top just press it like a toggling it on just pressing it from the above when I do that it zooms in my whole window and the only way that I could disable it is to go back in there and uncheck the enhanced mode for some reason on my computers this is not working so I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna disable that and hit OK now let me go and assign zoom out key since that was super up this is gonna be super down so I said disable now I click on enable I'm gonna activate the super button and I'm going to say grab key combination. I'm going to hold down this, the Windows key and the down arrow. And it now assigns super down. So I click OK. Now I'm ready to, to go back. But before I do, uh, we'll take a look at this. So I'm going to use the mouse button by saying zoom in by super and button 4. And I should be able to zoom in on it. So let me press the super key and zoom in and watch what happens. That was zooming in by holding down the super key and I scrolled up on my mouse I was able to zoom in now I can zoom back out by holding down the super key and scrolling the middle button backwards so as you can see here with the mouse I was able to hold down the super key scroll up with the mouse button and then with the mouse I could hold the super button and scroll down and it would zoom in and out now using the zoom keys uh, zoom in key with the uh, super key and the up arrow would do the same thing you can't see me doing this but I'll show you that was with the super key and the up arrow now I'm gonna go with the super key and the down arrow and that's how you do it so uh, let me hit back as you can see here the enhanced zoom desktop you can with your mouse or with your keyboard such as your super key and your arrows you can actually zoom in near where the mouse pointers at on your screen Now, as you're zooming in you're going to lose things around the edges but if you're having trouble seeing something on the screen like if this text was very small like down here it's very small over here it's very small I can hover the mouse pointer over that and I can press the the super key along with the up arrow or scroll up notice how it zoomed in and then I can move over uh, and see what's off the screen by uh, zo zooming in with my mouse so I can zoom back out 
and that helps you see things on your screen that you would normally have a hard time seeing. So if you were kind of visually impaired, let me close this out and I'll close this as well. So if you were visually uh, impaired or had a hard time seeing like the small print such as your clock and your menus, instead of making this bar up here or panel up here thicker, making this panel thicker, making the uh, text larger, which would use up your real estate for your desktop, you can turn on the magnifier and go hover over it, or you could actually put your mouse to it and zoom in by the enhanced zoom feature. So that's how you would enable your magnifier or your enhanced zoom feature within your Linux distribution. Now, I don't know what all versions of Linux that it works with, but it does work with Ubuntu Mate, Ubuntu, and Gnome and Mate versions of Linux. Uh, it may work with others, uh, but you might have to do a little bit more research before you try. Because remember, Compiz is something that you don't want to make changes until you're 100% sure because it can break your desktop. Hopefully this has been a uh, help to you in understanding how you can zoom in on your computer. And have a great day.